there, and welcome to The Dow Show for Wednesday, September 12, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really fun episode for you again today. Uh, it was another busy weekend here in Edmonton for drag, and uh, it was Evolution's fifth birthday, and there was lots of celebrating to be had, but we will get to that in a sec. Because first, our eye in the sky was in Camrose for the Fall Banks Ball. Uh, it was Robin Banks' show. I think she usually has a couple a year. Uh, anyway, uh, so this was hosted by her, and she had Lilith Fair, and she had actually the return of Katink Ashmurnov, uh, which was great to see. So uh, welcome back to the channel, hon. It was uh, wonderful to see you out. And Katinka did a couple of great numbers. Uh, she did Moo. And that's not a read, that's actually the name of the song, and the girl was dressed like a cow. And as a cow fan myself, I love a black and white print, like I'm a sucker, you should see me in my house coat. Actually, I think there's footage of me in my house coat on this channel. So yeah. In our I, opening credits It's even. true. You know I like a cow print. Anyway, so, uh, and then she also did uh, Ain't Nothing Going On Here But The Rent, which yes. was a really fun number. So uh, as I say, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, Lilith Fair. Lilith Fair. Uh, she brought out a couple of our favorite mm -hmm. performances recently. We love these ones. Mm -hmm. She did Coca-Cola. A nice, refreshing Coca-Cola. And she also did The Joy of Painting. Uh, uh, I love The Joy of Painting. <laughs> uh, I, I really feel like Lilith's kind of made a turn recently uh, mm. with, with her art and putting a lot more theater into it and I absolutely love the little pieces that she's that she's been creating lately. Yes. Anyway, you know I'm already a fan mama but yeah. woo, love the way that you're heading. Uh, and then Robin Banks herself put in uh, a couple of fantastic fun numbers. Yeah. Always look sexy, always having fun, always bangs it out. She did uh, money yes, and pour it up mm -hmm. and she poured it out I will say that. <laughs> fantastic yeah. so uh, congratulations on what I hear was a really fun event and you should check out those videos now on dragging our heels yes available now right um birthday show birthday oh, show God. um evolution was turning five as I say which is a feat it's, it's unbelievable considering the in the previous five years there had been three bars that had lived and died in that same space Congratulations to the guys on, on a fantastic job, and, and I'm so excited about the future, too. Yes. Uh, it was yeah. wonderful to be a part of the birthday celebrations, and what they decided to give us as a gift back for the fifth birthday was the gift of Bunny. Bunny! <laughs> Lady Bunny was in the house. She did some fantastic numbers. Uh, they were raunchy, they were sexual, they were crazy. Yes, Lady Bunny lived up to the hype. Some of the videos may be NSFF or NSFW. Uh, you should be careful uh, if you are the type of person that's like, oh my god, that offends me. You maybe don't want to watch the Lady Bunny videos. <laughs> but if you have a sense of humor, my god, you need to check them out. Um, they were just absolutely hilarious as far as I was concerned. And uh, just an absolute legend. And I got to, I was actually working in security, uh, so I actually got to talk to her before she was going on, and, and uh, she's just a total sweetheart, nice. got to talk to her about Wigstock that had happened the weekend before, like the revival and everything, like, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, it, was, it was super cool to meet her, and she seems like a total sweetheart, so, uh, wonderful, you oh, really, yeah, she did seem like, she does seem like such a sweetheart, mm -hmm. she really does. And again, she's been doing it forever, so, uh, yeah. she knows what she's doing, and, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then we had like, DJ. Yes. Uh, DJ in the house was Shishi Shi 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 Uh Yeah, our girl Shishi was out. So, uh, and yeah. And great songs, great music. Yeah, and Shishi's been out in like four out of five birthdays, you know what like, I mean? Like, crazy. she was there for opening weekend and everything yeah. too. So it's been something crazy like she, that. Like, she is every such year. a part of the story of evolution that it was, it was perfect that she yeah. was there for it. Um, and she <sighs> stuck around. Um, because on the Sunday, Sunday, at the Evo's birthday show, special edition of the Sunday Review, uh, Shishi Leroux was there to co-host with Rob's and, and did a couple of numbers, one of which we don't have footage of, 
Um, and she did Lollipop, which was for everyone that was there. It was really kind of cool. Uh, it was kind of funny, and uh, yeah, I actually cool. quite enjoyed it. <laughs> I, the actual hey. number I quite enjoyed. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, we don't have footage of it. We'll just say battery issues and leave it at that. Um, the other number that she did. Uh, was really fun, uh, and and again, you really need to check out my girl Chichi or Shishi. So uh, yes, please check out our video online and and share it and, and all those kind of things because we love her. And that's not all. Right. We had an entire cast of characters in right? the show. There was a couple other people as well as Shishi. It's true. She, my goodness, yes. Um, Rob was able to put together what I think is probably like the, a pretty stellar but it's, group. It's the best cast I've, I've ever seen for a Sunday review, let alone almost anything else, uh, for local talent as far as I'm concerned. Um, it had all four Miss Evolutions. Roselle Christina, Twiggy, Twiggy Lilith, Lilith Fair, Fair Vanity Fair. Fair. And then, and then with Lilith double dipping was, was Alberta's Next Drag Superstar 2016. 2017 true. was... Davina Die For. 2018 is. Duke motherfucking Carson. And everybody was in the house to do a few numbers. So, like, it was just. It was so it was awesome stellar. to see everybody all, all together. Yeah. And, you know, everyone has their own unique genre. Everyone has, like, they're all so good, but they yeah, have yeah. their unique style. At the they each bring something, uh, something else different yeah. to the show. Um, like, Roselle is that high energy dance, fun number. Um, Usually you know, pop music. Yeah, you know, she did Britney and, and, and um, Judas by, by, by Gaga. Gaga. You know what I mean? Like, fun numbers. Yeah. Um, Twiggy, Twiggy. Twiggy did some classics, including, including These Boots Are Made For Walking, which Rob made a special request for. And, and because she's done it a few times, it's not necessarily her favorite number to do. And it was, it, she so played that up, and I mean, it was she just, it, it she, up. She, she sold the hell out of it. It was just so good. And um, then next up we have Lilith. Lilith! Uh, which you uh, know I love. Theater queen. Theater queen. And uh, yeah, debuted at Evolution, The Joy of Painting, and, and like it was just such a, such a fantastic, I just love that number. Um, and then and her, then you have and then did live singing, which again was something else that she she brings she to the table to table. the theater. Um, and then we've got Vanity Fair, who brings that classic glamour, mm -hmm. um, glamour and drag impersonation. Yeah, she and does share. Did a wonderful share number, and as we were saying, it's so exciting that um, there's that new album by Cher, Abba Song, Be because right. it, it's a whole new crop of of, of material for Vanity right. to do. Yeah. Because oh. yeah. Yay! <laughs> um, and then on the other side, on the other side of performers, there's Davina Die For, Davina. Who, who does these high energy numbers that are often dancing and choreography and hamming it up, like with a very tongue in cheek style. Like I just very tongue in cheek. Yeah, style, like I just while dancing. You know what I mean? And like thinking, she's while. sitting there, and she's just like, ah, and then hold on, takes a tip, walks back. This is and true. Then, you know what I mean? Like it was just. Only Davina. Uh, yeah, I just, I absolutely love that. Uh, and then, as you said, do motherfucking Carson. Who, like, who has yeah. his own genre yet again. If you're gonna give me, give me, give me a man after midnight, please make it Duke Carson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Duke. Yes. I mean, we love you, and it's just... You do something that not a whole lot of other people do. You don't see that style no. of drag. Uh, yeah, no, you bring something to the table that I feel no one else brings. Like, you just, you're, you stand alone. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, that long was live Sunday. the day. That was that Sunday. Was it was just a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic weekend of drag. So, uh, you yes. definitely need to check out all those videos. I know. And we're back with next week on Thursday, September 13th. Uh, Hallelu. Hallelu! They are bringing back Shangela back in the box to Evolution. Uh, shipped all the way from the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some delightful openers for that show. We got Melinda Verga, Puddin, Imani, and Creme Brulee. That's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so excited that they have her for that night. And... And if that's not enough Shangela for you, You'll see her the following day on Friday, lovely. Uh, Shangela is back in the building for Hallelujah 2. Fabulous, completely fabulous. And they have 
the spice sensation opening for Shangela as well. We love the spice sensations. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed them at their event uh, a couple months ago, you should definitely mm -hmm. look forward to seeing them out again this Friday. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. What else is going on this weekend? All right, on Saturday, we've got a full schedule booked for Saturday. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is the Dragging Youth series, Dragging mm -hmm. Back Through Time. It's uh, the first one of the season for them, so uh, that's exciting. Um, I'm not 100% sure as to who's hosting or, as usual, is who's in it, mm -hmm. uh, because that's usually kind of uh, hidden from us as a surprise. Here's, here's, our, here's our performers. Um, but yeah, we're not even sure who's hosting this time, so we'll see. Yeah, but it'll be fun. That's at the Unitarian Church, and as always, the proceeds go to youth initiatives. Yeah, so five bucks. Always a good cause for the dragging youth. And hey, we like to see our youth get out there and perform on the stage. Well. Absolutely. Some of my favorite performers are, are often Some of them, those yeah. shows. So, uh, but, yeah. And it gives them the confidence to perform and to host and all the sorts of things. Like, I wish I had that experience. Well, honestly, they're looking for people that are hosting uh, to host them this year. So uh, maybe you should be one of the ones that should contact them about hosting your show. Oh my goodness, yes. I will give you to that. What else is going on this weekend? Oh, but there's more. There's more! <laughs> on Saturday, also, is a Fruit Loop event. That's right. Um, and it's at Urban Tavern Yegg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're hoping to have someone there. We're not 100 on that one. Uh, we've been contacted by them to be there, but um, I'm working and she's filming elsewhere and like, we're trying. We yeah. have we have a couple people that have had a maybe, so we're, we're hoping to be there. But there's some fantastic people performing. Yes, Vanity Fair, Duke Carson, Imani Melinda Verga, um, Relatively new to us, at least, is a uh, burlesker Luna Luna La Pearl. Luna, Luna La Pearl. Okay, yeah. And Artasia and Rusty Kingfisher. Hey, we like yeah. Rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. totally. So those are performers you can see at um, Fruit Loop. We are not sure if we're getting that film. Exactly. So, so if you want to see those, you make sure that. you should you are there. Make your way to that because we're not sure if we'll be there. Before that, though. At Evolution that At night. Evolution that night. What else is going on? It is the Prince and Princess campaign show. Woo! Ooh, how exciting! So that's like we said, that's at Evolution Wonder Lounge, and we have some contestants for that. Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, the we candidate have... for Imperial Crown Princess, Sister Mary Clarence, and candidates for Prince well, is going to be. Uh, Krista Bear and Angelo Mercy. Yay! Yeah, absolutely wonderful. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, so we will definitely be out at that event as well, so you should come and say hi if you're there. It's gonna be fun. So that'll be a fun, packed weekend of drag. Yeah, that would be a totally full weekend. But somehow I feel like there's more. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> On Sunday, at Evolution Wonder Lounge, it is the 12th installment of the Review Royale. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. And that is hosted by last time's winner, Georgia Tropicana. The Review Royales are always great, always a chance for you to get into a show. Yeah! You, well, I wait for a show that's booked. You Contact get... now though, because they are filling up fast. Yeah, so I think there's already 12 performers as of yesterday. So if you want to be in them, it's not yeah, showing up the last right. minute anymore. You contact now. Yeah, so there's always a cash prize with that, and... Yeah, it was 500 bucks to the winner last time. Yeah. 500 bucks to George's pocket last and time. And not so. bad for, like, an evening of work. Right? Or, like, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. I do. <laughs> so, I think that's actually it for this weekend, for Woo! what we got coming up. I know it's a lot, but I think that's it. That's going to be a very busy Tuesday next week. That may actually be all that we're recording this weekend. However, this episode isn't quite over yet because we haven't chosen our picks of the week! Um, I didn't talk to any of the other videographers, so sorry. Um, but I have a pick. Um, what I'm going to go with is Duke Carson, gimme, gimme, gimme. I absolutely loved the number. It was so high energy and fun and everything else. And mm -hmm. that song has been in my head for three days. Like, and that version, that metal 
version that I don't think I've ever heard before. I absolutely loved it. So, uh, that wasn't easy. Uh, it wasn't yeah, easy. It really wasn't. My but, own pick of the week wasn't easy to choose from either. Like, there are so many good and yeah. diverse. Yeah. Diverse artists yeah. from this weekend. Yeah. Oh, how do you choose? Um, but I am going to go... I am going to go with Divina Die For, mm. I Will Always Love You. It was just... It was... Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, it was just right? that yeah, it really funny, was. campy version of... Honestly, this song is taken so seriously <laughs> and traditionally all the time, but you made it camp and you made yeah. it fun. But but still also heartfelt in enough and still heartfelt places, enough. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but yeah, it's always so tongue in that part, that part when Davina was looking around the stage like, what the fuck, where's that coming from? That killed me. That killed me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then brought me back to life. Yeah, to be that gives me gives me good face. And you, <laughs> and you can watch all these videos on the channel, yeah. so you don't have to pick and choose. Well, yeah, but we are always curious as to what your your favorites are too. Yeah, so please comment below as to what your favorite pick of the week was. Oh, like, absolutely. Did we get it wrong? Uh, and again, it wasn't easy for us. Like I, I, yeah. I oh, like that vanity. Uh, number that she did, I, I really liked that dance number that she did, like I, you know, like it was so out of the box for what I kind of picture Vanity doing, but yet it was, I don't know, it so suited her. Uh, yeah, anyway, there were so many good ones this weekend. Uh, check them out, watch them, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching! Bye! Bye. See you next Wednesday!